Well, it seems that the great and good that met yesterday evening were not great and good enough. It seems that the decisions that they uh, need to take uh, have to involve the leaders, uh, not just the finance ministers. So they all go back to their national capitals and discuss uh, whether the Europeans can yield to the IMF and uh, contribute more money uh, to Greece, basically. And uh, the IMF will need to talk to its directors uh, to see if uh, they can uh, front their rules a little bit uh, to help the Europeans. And then they will get back together on the 26th to discuss uh, whether they found a compromise. If not, uh, we will have to uh, wait for the next EU summit, I suppose, uh, to discuss this uh, topic. In any case, it seems that if the Europeans have to um, contribute more money, that will involve parliaments, including the German one, and that could be another nail-biting vote there. And all the while this is going on, Greece is still waiting desperately for this next wheelbarrow full of cash. Indeed, and the statement after the EU, uh, after the Eurogroup meeting, um, for once applauds uh, Greece and uh, says that Greece was not the problem uh, in this case. The problem this time is uh, the lenders, the IMF on the one hand side and the Eurogroup. So if you like, this is quite some progress. Uh, Greece uh, has become more reliable. They've done what they needed to do. And now it's the Europeans and the IMF that need to agree. So looking at the Eurozone as a whole at the moment, Christian, I mean, you and I have talked about this before, but things don't seem to be improving very much. Well, we've had the situation is a lot better now than it was, uh, say, back in July. Uh, the ECB, the European Central Bank, when they announced these potentially unlimited bond purchases, created a sort of safety net, and this safety net is working. Yield, bond yields in really important countries such as Spain or Italy are much lower now, much more sustainable, and all this noise around Greece, for instance, hasn't really changed that. So uh, we have a bit of an insurance policy now with the with the ECB. That's positive. Also. What we have to look at is fundamentally underlying, uh, under all this noise, uh, these countries are really making progress, uh, the, especially the exports in uh, Spain and Portugal are booming. These countries are exporting more now than they were before the crisis. So the competitiveness issue is being addressed. These countries are also reducing their deficits. So there's a lot of underlying progress. But right now, the, the recession that we're in because of the confidence crisis is aggravating things, and that's making things even more difficult.